my beauties! I cannot believe we're so close to Christmas and I'm super excited because I have a ton of parties to go to and also it's about spending quality time with my family and my loved ones. So as you can see today is a makeup tutorial and this is the look that I've created and just to give you guys a little bit of a overview is that I've tried to incorporate something quite festive so this is not something that you would wear any day or every day it is definitely something more of an occasion makeup so it is quite um, you know festive season it's really Christmas inspired because I use a lot of colors that you usually associate with Christmas which is green gold red every now and then you want to look spectacular you want to look like sparkling you want to look glistering you want to look like you are the show of the party kind of thing so I think this is definitely a look that's very wearable and very doable it's quite simple it's only a couple of colors it's just all about blending and it's all about just sort of like I guess marrying everything together to create this look my mom actually got this for me um, and I really like it it's a Daiso one so you can get this from your local Daiso it's just a really cute sort of reindeer thing and it just puts you into the spirit of Christmas forget me babbling on let's just enjoy the video ho 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 hello my beauties as always start with a clean moisturized face First thing I put on is under eye primer to make sure my concealers don't crease. I apply it all over the eyes, then of course the next step is to apply concealer and blend it out with either clean fingers or a sponge. Next I'm going to use some shadow insurance to make sure the eyeshadows stay on and appear more vibrant. First let's fill in the brows. Using a waterproof one, fill in the brows to the shape that frames your eyes the best. Definitely apply a bit of brow gel to keep them in place and the spoolie can also brush out any excess product to make them look more natural. Remember at this point the brow doesn't have to be perfect as we will be adding the finishing touches towards the end. Moving on to the eyes. First I'm going to use one of my favorite loose eye dust on a fluffy brush I apply all over the mobile eyelid. Stop just above the crease. Then pick a green color, it doesn't have to be this one, but this is the greeniest color I have. Use a small eyeshadow brush, apply it to the outer corners and that includes the bottom outer corners as well. Just make sure that most of the color concentration stay towards the end of the eye. Next is grabbing a shimmery gold color and apply this to the center of the eye, literally where your eyeball is. And don't forget the bottom lash line as well. Next is getting a clean blending brush and blend away the edges. Make sure both sides are even. Then it's eyeliner time. Use a waterproof eyeliner, fill in the upper waterline and line between the lashes to make sure there's no gaps. I usually have to go a little thicker in my eyeliner because of my eye shape and I have to extend the wing out further to make my eyes appear bigger. This doesn't have to be perfect, again we will be going over with liquid eyeliner at the end. Now it's time to curl them lashes and apply your favourite waterproof mascara. For me it's not going to be much of a difference so I'm going for some heavy duty lashes. I love these from Velour, they're comfortable and they look so real. Bam! Check out the difference. Now onto the fun part, adding sparkles. I'm going for some gold glittery shadow and apply it to the inner corners and blend it towards the center. Use a cotton tip to clean up the edges. Once you're happy with the intensity, apply some dark brown eyeshadow to the outer corners to darken the crease and to create more depth. At the same time, I also like to use a brown eyeliner and fill in the gaps at the outer corners to join the lines to create that seamless wing. Once you apply mascara to the bottom lashes, the eye will look more balanced. Now it's time to go over the lash band with liquid eyeliner and you can also intensify the eyebrows if need be and I'm using a concealer on an angle brush to clean up the edges and create that sharp and clean finish. Just make sure you blend away the concealer either with the brush or with your fingers. Next is applying a little bit more concealer under the eye after removing any fallouts from the glitter shadows. 
then we're moving on to the rest of the face. First is applying a primer to the entire face to make sure the foundation won't slip and slide and stay on all day. I'm going for a stick foundation which is a shade lighter than my skin color and applying that to the high points of my face, like I'm applying a highlighter. Then using a foundation that is one to two shades darker than my skin tone, I'm going to apply it to the rest of the face, blending it all out with a sponge. Once everything is covered, it's time to powder down and just be very gentle to make sure you don't ruin that hard work. Now I'm going to use a powder contour to carve out some nose, cheekbones and make my mooncake face look slightly smaller. This will look great in photos. Then it's time to smile and apply some blush to the apples of the cheeks and blend back towards the ears. Now this is optional but I want to be extra glowing especially for Christmas so I'm going to be quite generous with the highlighter and apply it to all the high points of the face, nose bridge, under the eye, forehead, cupid's bow and chin. We're almost there. Use a red lip liner, outline the lips and start creating little triangles on the lip. Almost like candy cane stripes. Then use a red lip gloss and apply all over the lips and just make sure you stay within the line. This will make sure your lipstick stay on all night. And now the makeup look is complete. Ready to party! Woo hoo! Ho 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 ho! Time for a selfie! Merry Christmas! I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial and it was as easy to follow as I hoped it was. If you have any questions about anything, leave your comments below. And I would love to see you guys recreate this look and hashtag me on Instagram or Facebook or anywhere. I like to see all those photos. I'm definitely looking forward to, you know, talking to, to you guys about the new, new Year's resolution. So that video is coming up. And I hope you guys all have fun during Christmas. And remember, you could always always reach me on my social medias which are facebook twitter and instagram thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video bye